Welcome back to Anderton's TV. <laughs> We've been reunited. Yes. Oh. For two days. Yes. So uh, stay tuned, everybody. You will see this man's face on the channel a few times. For which I apologise profusely. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to take advantage of Rob's exceptional, I can't even speak, talent for being able to find out what things are without the power of sight. Uh, so we're going to blindfold Rob up. Day one, video <laughs> yeah, one. Straight away. <laughs> uh, we're going to get six highly affordable guitars. Rob won't know what they are. He doesn't know what brands they are. He doesn't know anything. They all range from between 100 to 200 pounds. And without, and the, yes, without the power of sight, you are going to basically tell me which one your favourite one is. My favourite one is the East Coast. Oh, it could be. You don't even know if there's an East Coast brand in there. I'm presuming it's Squire, <laughs> East Coast, Epiphone and LTD. Wow. Literally, even... This is insane. The guy's <laughs> borderline... I was going to say psychopathic, but that's yeah, probably, the wrong yeah, word, probably isn't it? That's more accurate. What is the right word? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the right word? We're going to use a Boss Katana Mark yes. II 50 Watty Jobby and I've a tuner. I've set it up to my favourite yes. brown sound. Now I will remove my sight. There you go. Oh, that's it. It's done now. That's it, that's it yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that's really tight now. Guitar number one is from this brand, and it's this style. That's about 200 pounds. This one here, guitar number two, is from this brand, is this style. These are about 150, 160, something like that, pounds. Check the links below. Guitar number three is this brand. This is also about 160 pounds. Uh, guitar number four is this brand. Uh, and is about 180, I think, something like that. Guitar number five is from this brand and is about 100 pounds. And guitar number six, yes, six, I got that wrong, didn't I? Uh, is from this brand and is about 200 pounds. If we just go in order, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, um, I don't think it really matters what the order is. I shall give you the first one. What are the rules? The only thing you can't touch is the headstock. So you can tune it, but you can't do the whole kind of right. feely feely. Can't do the feely feely. But you can tune it, you can play the neck, you can touch the controls, uh, and you can elect your channel one or channel de tone. Okay, uh, please may I commence? Well, my English is really bad. Please can I start with channel one tone? It's in. Bosh. It's in, it's in. Yes. Bosh. <laughs> And a Chanel de tone, please, sir. Bosh. Oh, man, I've got to warm up. Wow, it's got a really good tremolo. Got any thoughts on that that I can write down on my <clears> piece <throat> of paper? Um, super familiar feeling neck. Um, and the volute is a little bit of a giveaway. Uh, so I'm going to have to say that this is a Pacifica. Interesting. For those wondering what a volute is, the volute is the little bit here. You may or may not be right, uh, but I'm looking at the volute on the back of the guitar and it looks to me the like, same as the volute on every kind of <laughs> well, guitar know, of this style. When you're so, a neck-sniffing volute fondler like me, <laughs> you get to know the differences of some of these. So whether it's a yammy, it yammy carve or an epi carve, you soon Fair enough, get to man. know a well, thing. There you go. I mean... Who knew? Who knew that there was even such a thing as volute sniffing? Where's my uh, table going? There is no table. Oh, it's to your... Go right. Right, 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 right. Bit more right, bit more right. There it is. That's what I wanted. All righty. 
the people at Liquid Death just sent us about 50 cans of Liquid Death. I mean, honestly, I saw this and thought to myself, surely this is some sort of high alcohol content energy drink, but it is Isn't actually it? water, basically. I, oh. um, so there we are, have another guitar. Well, it's warmer, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Can I have a uh, Chanel, another tremolo? A Chanel Deux, please, Yes, sir. you can. Okay. Anything else you want to tell me about this guitar? I, I cannot tell you what shape this is, though. It doesn't feel like a normal... It is a normal S-type. Is it just a normal S-type? It feels like it's slightly offset, but I might be tripping. <laughs> I, have I been tricked and it's actually a PRS? <laughs> is that what it is? I'm what not going to tell you whether yeah. or not we've tried to trick you in this particular I've... video. Uh, we have actually restrung all of these guitars prior to the video with the same set of Ernie Ball strings. Well, whatever. Were these what just restrung? Oh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Like this morning. <laughs> he did a really good job then. Was that um, Oz? It was Oz. Thanks, yes. Oz. Um, awesome job. Yeah, round of applause for Oz. Woo! Okay, going back to channel one yes. and the tuner is off. Go. Wait, isn't this the same? Did you just give me the same guitar? I'll just check. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad drinking what looks like a can of special brew at past <laughs> nine in the morning. It's a bit of a skinnier neck, a little bit, less lacquer too, but it still feels like a squire. Ah! Uh, high gain, please. I say hi, but you know what I mean. Really stiff tremolo. The, the 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 first one that I said was yammy had a really nice trem. This is like, Whoa! you've really got me now. Da -da -da -da. I I I feel like it's a squire, but I don't know. This and this makes me feel like it's a squire. <laughs> it's such a. Would you have the same brand more than once? Um, I'm not telling you. All right. I'm not telling you. <laughs> okay. Um, that's the Squire. Okay. Oosh. I mean, no prizes. You'll instantly know this is a slightly different style of guitar. Oosh, give it. Um, but Hold that's, on. Oh, sorry. Yes. It's all right. Let me put it in for you, he said. Well, it feels, it feels very nice. I just tuned it without thinking, but I didn't touch the That's headstock. That's fine. You can okay. tune, but you can't. I don't want you sort of tracing the outline. What? So, where's the? <laughs> well, okay, there it is. <laughs> oh, I've missed this. I really have. This doesn't feel affordable, this feels really nice. Chanel 
Angel. Yes, please. Yes, yes please. Yes, please. please. I haven't got a clue what this is. I mean, it feels, uh, I, don't, I don't, you might need to bleep this out, but I feel like it's an Epiphone, but it plays too good to be an Epiphone. <laughs> is that bad to say? Well, I, I, Can I, I say I that? I think Epiphone have been making some seriously, ever since they started doing that maybe this, um, maybe Epiphone this original is, series, there's been a real step up from Epiphone. So maybe this so. is challenging my, preconceptions of what an Epiphone could be then, but... but I, can I can tell you now though, and that, you know, I don't think this is giving away, Epiphone don't make anything under 200 pounds like this, so... So this is 160? This was, this was about 200 pounds. Can you guess, just from feeling it, what style of guitar it is? Yeah, it's, it's like a single cut kind of vibe. Okay. But, uh, and it's got the, the pit guard and everything, and I'm gonna say that it sort of a, a, feels like it's an ebony board kind of vibe. But you like it? I like, yeah, no, it feels expensive. That's what tricks me, it feels expensive. All up and the tuner is off. Wow, is that on the high gain or the low gain? Uh, I apologize, On we're back to channel one. Okay. Okay, give me the high gain. Okay, high gain incoming. And uh, why, and do you like it or The not? neck feels like uh, an Ibanez type profile. Such a flat fingerboard. Um, you don't find many brands that make a fingerboard that flat anymore. M maybe LTD, but I don't think LTD, LTD do a guitar that, that affordable. Um, and the pickups have that classic Ibanez, lots of balls and squeezing the, the harmonic mid part. Pickups like that would be OEM'd in Indonesia, but it'll still have that Ibanez, Damasio kind of vibe. Well, I've written all that down. I've written all that down to um, humiliate you with when we eventually re- Okay. <laughs> okay, one last, okay, you've got to go more right. right. More right if you need more liquid death. Oh God, it's open now, it's gonna, no, more right. Okay. And down, it's like a fairground <laughs> claw, there it is. <laughs> what I will need from you though is your Favourite and maybe why and just a general conclusion and then we'll reveal. So back to channel one, tuner off, there we go. Woo! This is very nice. This feels like a Jackson. This feels, this reminds me of um, the, uh, I had a Charvel when I was a kid and it was before Jackson and Charvel had become a thing. And, and this has sort of the similar neck profile. Well, oh, really nice. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, it's got a trap. This is the best one, and it feels like some kind of affordable Jackson. Do you need to sniff the Volute just to... to no, there isn't, to... Uh, there oh, okay. isn't a Volute. There's no Volute. This is what I was going to say, there's no Volute. Wow. It's, it's frictionless. It just goes from neck to head in, in, one, in one thing, which is really nice. Um, can I smell the back of the neck? <laughs> Indonesian. That's the best one. But I tell you, a close second yeah. was the uh, single cut one that I played. Uh, and that almost ties with the first one, which I said was a yammy. So sorry, let me just get this in. So the best one was the last one. Yeah, and you like really You liked the single cut one. That was really, and you it liked, felt expensive. You liked the first one, which was the one you thought was a Yamaha, but yeah. it may or may not be. Yeah. What we need, ladies and gentlemen, is a reverse facing camera there's 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 oz tay and pete in the room and I, the the incredulous look on their faces is so <laughs> take your blindfold off rob okay, it's just nobody i have ever met does what you do did i get them right it's just <laughs> it's insane what was that an East Coast. It's, it's an East Coast. It's just, well, let, let me just recap here. I hand you this. What was that? What's that? I hand oh, you that's this. an East Coast as well. Yeah, I hand you this and in like three seconds, you say good trim, familiar neck, and then you go, Volute's a giveaway, it's a Pacifica. And we're all <laughs> literally going, I mean, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the, I mean, this is what Rob's talking about, right? I'm going in for <laughs> Oz's cam here. This is what Rob's talking about. I have never, and I'm telling you now, never really felt like there's a difference between one man, you have one make and the next with regards to the volute. Oh, they, they're second super one, similar, aren't they? Yeah, second one, you said it sounded warmer and you immediately thought it was a Squire. Now, in all fairness, East Coast is obviously a brand that you don't, you know, you, you don't see uh, around very much. It's kind of something that Anderton's kind of does with one or two other stores. But, I mean, I, I just don't know that I mean, it's such a mu anyway. Well, I, I'm amazed. Anyway, this was the this was the cheapest one, by the way. This was a hundred quid. Right. Um, well, I wouldn't have known that it was the cheapest one for sure. The um, you then basically you went oh, skinnier neck still feels like a squire. You said the trem's a bit stiff. I think the trem is so stiff on all of these. So I thought the East Coast these. was a squire. Yeah. So you thought both these were squires, which is fair enough. I mean, it's you know, let's be fair. It's a affordable kind of strap thing. I guess the volute is marginally different because of the shape of the headstock there but you just went that's a squire i mean it's just but it just makes no sense it makes no sense then that's an east I coast i guess this was a bit of a weirdy one let me, we let me, kind let me of, hold it because of course we the rest are sort of a, a, a double cut Do you know what i wanted shape. to say with this yeah i wanted to say tokai okay because it felt like the, the old tokais yeah um but this isn't made in tokai land no so we so that I think you can get lots of affordable, you know, Gibson style guitars down in that sort of sub 200 pound price point. But often they'll forego the fixed neck. You'll end yeah. up with a bolt on neck or maybe a slab top, something like that. And the, I like the East Coast thing because it is, it's got kind of some of those essential kind of ingredients. Like the, if you flip it over, it's got the, the proper sort of set neck. Um, join and the, the arch top, but anyway. This feels, so, well, this feels expensive. It, it's funny when you can see it, you go, "Oh yeah, it doesn't look particularly expensive," but it felt expensive. Yeah. So, and then <coughs> it was an Ibanez. It just makes no sense, man. I mean, that. What did you say about the Ibanez? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> what did you oh, say? Is a Jackson, <laughs> you said, neck feels ibanez -y, radius is flat, pickups have that sort of ibanez Demarcio kind of balls. And I'm just sitting there going, it's just, I mean, it just feels, look at the balloon on that, it's the same. Yeah. As, I mean, I don't understand, Rob, how you picked this out. Well, that one was really from sound, to be, to be really honest with you, more than anything. And then the Jackson, I mean, this was the one that freaked us all out the most yeah. because like, it's not the JS1, I think it's a JS1 or JS11, something like that, yeah. JS11 maybe. Um, you know, this was the one I probably thought was the least uh, popular of, of all five of these. <sighs> it was sort of almost like a bit of an edge case one. And you're like, feels like a Jackson. I mean, I'm just like- So five seconds. Yeah, but what? it did, it felt like my old Charvel. How? They probably have the same neck pattern. People may not like <coughs> goggles, okay? Um, uh, these are this you can wear the goggles now look so you can see sometimes you get a little bit straight of, in I mean, sometimes get, that's what you see through yeah. the goggles right sometimes you get a little bit of light from the outside around the nose but i mean you can't see anything through the but put, put these on just so that you experience the reverse of my mum <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, that's nuts thanks that's mum. Nuts. overall though i mean i was fiddling around with these we were restringing them uh, uh, yet again, boring. We all sound like your dads now. Like, you know, beginner guitar players have never had it this good. It's no, just... No, no, it's true. There's six phenomenal guitars here so, um, that are all highly affordable. 100 quid. That's the cheapest 100 one. 100 quid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Real Rosewood fretboard. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, look. From Real Roses. From Real Roses. I, I am honoured to be in a position <laughs> to, to do this with you yet again. And I think that the, uh, you know, if there are any edges I have, it's that obviously we run a guitar company, so I get to feel a lot of necks and bits and things, you know, and, but yeah, it's fun. It really is fun. I'm telling you now, I couldn't do that. I don't think anyone in here, Pete, Oz, Tate, me, and we've tried a lot of gigs. I, as soon as you take the site away, I'm struggling to. We should do it with expensive stuff one day. Funny enough, that's the next oh, video. Oh, okay, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, Bye. thank you so much. Uh, we shall see you in another video soon. Au revoir. Mate, the, se the second you said Jackson, me, Tay, and Pete just went like. <laughs> so <laughs> gobsmacked.